1986, Brittany, France. The Gimo brothers catch a glimpse of the future and launch Ubisoft. No internet, no emails. Just a bunch of people and a passion for technology and games. Today, Ubisoft still has an eye on a future where 85% of the jobs that will exist in 2030 haven't even been invented yet. Since Ubisoft can't predict the future, we need people ready to forge it. Talented people who aren't afraid to create the unknown. And Amandine Lower is one of those people. This is Amandine. Coucou. She hates interviews. Sorry about that. But we'll find a way, because it's worth it. I could tell you she's a junior developer, a graduate of a video game school, but I won't, because she's not. Instead, I'll tell you the story of an unexpected career path. Well, I'm the narrator, by the way. I don't really exist, but I know Amandine and I know Ubisoft. She'll correct me if I get anything wrong. I can do that. Amandine loves arts and crafts. She draws illustrations and character art. She can crochet tiny, cute animals. She studied languages at the University of Chambéry, France. She lived in New Mexico and Japan. In each new place, she started off from scratch, totally lost, barely understanding a word, and she loved it. I can't say it was always easy, but I love developing new skills to get out of tricky situations. This is Peo. He hates turning his camera on during calls. But I'll make an exception for you. But he'll make an exception for us. Peo is Amandine's first real boss. He recruited her in 2016 for an internship in communications, even if she didn't have a degree in communications. She seemed daring and resourceful. He trusted her immediately. And yes, Amandine plays video games, but lots of people at Ubisoft play games. Many don't, and that's just how Ubisoft likes it. Amandine managed Ubisoft's internal weekly newsletter. She felt this job was a perfect match for her independent spirit and her taste for new challenges. But she'll never forget Peo saying, push the button, Amandine. It will only be sent to 11,000 people. It's 20,000 now. For ops to Marine, she's now the one in charge of sending the email. Easy peasy. This is Colleen. She's a content communications manager. She helped Amandine build on what she learned with Peo when she hired her next. She wasn't afraid to break with convention, and I really encourage that. Because it provides a new way of doing things. Amandine started organizing conferences and writing speeches for Ubisoft speakers. She was learning something new again, and she loved it. I know it sounds weird, but she's telling the truth. I love a good challenge. But in Amandine's head, a little seed had been planted. An idea was forming. She was so close to the people making the games she loved. Two years later, it became clear she wanted to be a line designer. Amandine reached out to Elizabeth. She was leading teams of line designers at the time. The way she talked about the game she liked was so passionate and professional. She was even able to, to connect an IP to a player journey and talk about those tiny details that can sometimes make a huge difference on the quality of the game. Amandine started helping production teams design the content of their games. She's one of the bridges between the top management at HQ and the production teams in Ubisoft studios around the world. She is an interpreter, as she has always been. Yes, being a line designer is all about communication. You can always reinterpret your skills in a brand new way. Looking back, without Pio and Colleen, she would have missed a key step. That's it. Thanks, Amandine, for your inspiring story. Merci. Before I go, did you like this story? Head over to Ubisoft.com to hear more just like this one and maybe even take your first step towards creating the unknown with Ubisoft. and I really encourage that. <laughs> <laughs>